Hey now, we're storage wrapping. So I get the question, what does thin provisioning have to do with chunklets, micro raid, micro sparing, and wide striping? Well, it's like this. Thin provisioning takes place within the framework of the chunklet grid and the micro arrays uh, and the volumes that you create. There's a special volume that can be created called a common provisioning group. And the common provisioning group is one where you can have multiple thin provision volumes. Just about got uh, hit in the, uh, in the steering wheel cam. Head to honk at the ZMedical.com van. A guy that goes around and brings cold capsules, band-aids, finger wraps, ice, that kind of stuff to corporations. So if they get injured on the job, they, you get a little first aid. Let's see if we can pick them up over here. There we go. There's the Z Medical Van. That's the thing that almost ran into me. Whatever. Big deal. Getting back now to CPGs. Look. A CPG is like a volume that can hold multiple volumes. And in this case, the multiple volumes are thin provisioned ones. So we have a CPG and maybe you've got 5, maybe you've got 10, maybe you've got 15 thin provisioned volumes. And those thin provision volumes are, of course, extremely efficient space-wise, right? That's how it works. We'll go into more of it later, but since people were asking, I thought I'd give them the skinny on it. The skinny on thin. And we're storage rapid.